Hello everybody, this is Fuzzfinger, and welcome back to my Let's Play The Cave series. In this episode, we are going to continue on... I've already collected that, that's weird. Uh, ...with the main story of the game. And enter deeper into the cave itself, the cave that talks, as it is sometimes known. And you can't actually see where you're going in this deep water, which is interesting. Presumably we don't want to be going down there anyway. We seem to suffer a slight case of death. Ah, interesting. We can, of course, use this boat by the looks of things. Where are the twins? They need to come along too, I think. We don't want to leave anybody behind. And we're off. Hey, anyone know any sea shanties? 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. Oh, that's more a bar song than a sea shanty. Ooh, I've got one. 99 bottles of rum on the wall, 99 bottles of rum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems to be shark infested waters, I have to say. Make me feel a little bit uncomfortable swimming through those. Or boating through Whoopee! those. I'm rescued. Rescued! Shut up. After years on this blasted island, <laughs> I can finally leave. Finally leave. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm going to go collect my stuff and get my beloved dog Spanky so we can skedaddle. Beloved dog. Shut up. Well, from stuck in a cave to marooned on an island stuck in a cave, things aren't exactly looking up for our friends now, are they? <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> well, we're free. And we're stuck in an island, apparently. And it would appear that we need to find a way of getting across this chasm here in order to continue with our adventure. So let's have a look up yonder and see if there's anything we can find. There's a parrot. Quite an annoying parrot. Straight pipe, that's interesting. And a pirate flag. Let's pop this down for a second. Can we pick this up? Oh, it's a lever. No, you do that, please. Right, has anything happened here? Hmm, I don't think so. But they can keep holding the lever until Stupid we need them. Parrot. Night to see six. Oh, it's been a while since I played chess. Right, so let's head on up here. Should we take that broken pipe? Or straight pipe, or whatever, really, whatever it might be. Ah, interesting. Got two broken pipes here in the water. But not much we can do with those just at this moment. There's also another chasm which we can't yet cross over there. So this isn't a massive level, it has to be said. Let me just see what happens if I fall down here. Fall down, I said, not keep clinging up to the opposite wall. Ah! We do seem to be across the other side. And there's another cave painting. This one for the Time Traveller. And we have them all. For the Time Traveller. Look, that's where we couldn't access earlier. What's this? Nope. It's not that one. But I get the idea. Water valve. Oh, right, I understand. We need to connect that pipe, turn the water on, and that'll come out of the pipe that's hanging down the ceiling and fill up the, uh, whatever you call it, the pool below, so that we can get our friends to cross it. Pop that down there for the moment. We can't access that thing. Can we access anything over here? I'm worried if we fall down, we won't get back up. We can't anyhow. Fair enough. 
So for now, there's nothing to do down here. Which means we are going to head back up to that water wheel. The area we saw previously, but didn't explore fully. Ah, we haven't been over here yet, have we? Who's this for? Ah, it's the night. And we've got them all for the night now as well. That's cool. The question is, do we want it across or up? At the moment, we can only have it up. So I'm guessing I'm going to need a four-way one to go there. No, I've seen that already. Stop showing me that bloody thing. Oh, come on. I can't pick this. There we go. Look, jump down. Just remember where that four-way one is. That's where we need to, you know, uh, collect that straight one whenever we need that. Uh, we want to go down. Just jump, please. Thank you. Ah. I need to go up first. Yeah, I try and make shortcuts by jumping to speed things up and it never seems to work. I only ever ever seem to slow myself down even further. Can we turn the water valve on yet? I'm guessing not, seeing as how that would just be overly easy. One piping would is not gonna do the trick. On the other hand, maybe it is. Marvellous. Let's test out with the time traveller now that we can, in fact, access across here. Yes, we can. We've certainly solved some part of the puzzle. And not too challenging either, if I might say so. Now, let's go and have a quick look up by the water wheel, see what we Night didn't see earlier. Yeah, the twins are quite happy pulling that lever, so I'll leave them with that. Ah, a nicely sort of doggy. Oh, is it that a cat? That looks like a weird dog to me. When you get that boat of yours to the other side of the island, give me a shout, and I'll join you for the big rescue. Big rescue! Shut up. Not sure how to break it to that adorable old hermit, but their boat only seats three people. Might I suggest to our three friends that they move the boat across the island very quietly? Shut up! Hehe. <laughs> right, this will be one for the twins. And we've got them all now. Right, so here we have the cross section piece. Which we can hang up over on this side, I believe. You go down there. You there, you there. The question one must ask now is, what have we actually accomplished? Oh, it's looking very hot around here, isn't it? Yes. Very hot indeed. Master, oh, I thought that said master valve, it says water valve. Ah, interesting, interesting. We're going to need to collect, either put something on there or just flat out put our friends on there, aren't we? So let's keep the knight over here. We'll move back to our time traveller. Since she's fairly close to the whole situation anyway. But before we take her over, I'm just going to double check what's down here. Who knows, might be something useful, might be something of no value, but we'll find out. Hmm, another lever. What exactly is that doing? Absolutely nothing, but we could actually drain that tank at some point. 
if we can find some dynamite. As you can see, it's got that kind of... Ah. Uh, maybe we don't need dynamite, we've got all this fire everywhere. If we can get that to explode, or to... Uh, sort of like lava its way across to those barrels of explosiveness then that could actually be something interesting to try and figure out but for now we'll see where this takes us if anywhere uh, time traveller another pirate flag I don't know if that's doing anything useful. Hmm, all our friends have joined us. Well, oh, that's interesting. Ah, we need this thing, look. I was going to say, that was very strange that our friends joined us. I wasn't ready for them yet, we haven't completed the puzzle. I'm guessing we need to push this over to jump back up, there's nowhere else for us to go. There's the straight bit of pipe we've used already. Now we could fall down there, so let's get Nighty Boy here to uh, show us how that would be done. Let's jump up there, do the usual good stuff. Apart from the fact that the time traveller just got killed. That is generally, I think, the idea. Ah! Of course. The knight is the one who needs to do it. Okay, I think we're a little bit dead. Let's try that again. Hmm. Well, this isn't so good, is it? What's the point in being able to float down onto that rock below when we can't actually do anything from it? We can't even see that sign behind us. Well, this is pointless, isn't it? Yes, I'd say. Very pointless. Uh-oh, they're dead. Just trying to think, where, where have we not tried yet? That is a good question. The answer is... We happen to... Uh, pull all three of those flags at once. If you remember, there's some barrels. Uh, hopefully, what I'm saying is going to make sense shortly. We'll take the twins down. Head them over here. We definitely want that to explode at some point. There's no doubt about that, I should think. Right then. We need to get the knight to go back up. In fact, we could do with both of these going back up. The knight and the time traveller. Reason being is that I believe both of the uh, good stuff that we need, the pirate flags, are themselves, in fact, back up. Dead end there, isn't it? Yes. So yeah, got a little bit of a trek ahead of us here. But hopefully... My reasoning is going to make sense momentarily. Come on, knight. We haven't got all day. You might have, being computer pixels. Knight, move. knight to C6. Right, so there's the first flag. We definitely want that. And there should be another one over here. Is it up? It might be up, actually. Ah, oh, look, it's over there. How did we get over there? Oh, we used the bloody steamship, didn't we? 
Unless we can jump down from here. King takes F7. Oh no, we'll use this, look. I'm guessing that's what it's for. I'm rescued. Rescued. Shut up. Shut up. That's it. Right, time traveller. I wonder actually, I was just thinking, if we can move the boat now that we've raised the water level. I doubt very much we'll be able to move it to across the other side, which is ultimately I think what we want to do. But we should be able to move it at least part way. Yeah, I think we'll have a look at that. Annoying as I might be. And the time traveller is good for water because she can just glide over it, at least she could earlier. Now she can't. She's lost her power. Where is it? There it is. No time to start sitting down. Well, we can move it, so that's a good start. I mean, I already knew we could move it. It's how we got it into the water in the first place. But let's see what we can do with it. It's floating across the waves. Right, can we pull it from this side? Yes, we can. Things are looking up already. We're obviously not going to be moving it up the ladder. But... We're not going to be moving it across there either, so we'll leave it there for now. There's a great big steel door in the way. Which isn't very nice, is it really? Not when you need to move your boat through a cave. But anyway, we're backtracking. Who's a good dog? Knight takes D5. Right, so if you can do this one. Where's the knight? And oh, no, that's the time traveller. There's the knight. And the twins. And if you do all three together. Oh, nothing that. Oh, no, it doesn't. Look. We've got access to some barrels. Oh, and a dog bone. No doubt we'll be using that on the dog later. It's actually not a dog bone, it's a human bone, but it's the same thing. The question is, how do we light this thing? Mm, interesting, interesting. We could push it in there. But I don't know how we'd get it back out, quite frankly. Still, the best way to get through puzzle games is to explore and see what happens. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep rolling this barrel and wait until it falls in the lava and then oh whoa 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 it's lit it's lit oh it didn't get enough speed on it well at least I know how to light it now the only problem is it didn't get anywhere near the speed in order to travel under here. Hmm. If we use three barrels before lighting them, maybe we'll have more luck. Come on. Why did that one get stuck? The other one didn't get stuck. How bizarre. It keeps getting stuck. No, don't. That's annoying. Come back. Note to self, don't put it on the bloody slope straight away. That'll do for now. Now we're going to have to get the other two. And if we sort of make a line of them, they might explode into one another and possibly release that water. And maybe we can get the boat across further then. That's the idea. Maybe about there, do you think? Obviously we need to be close enough to explode the next barrel. We'll grab it and we'll see what happens. The other one will roll down the hill a little bit. Explode into that barrel, which should light on fire. And explode into the next barrel. And either the second barrel will get blasted into this one, or the blast itself will be big enough to uh, catch it anyway. But we'll see what happens. I'm thinking out loud here. I don't even know if this is going to work. Although it must do, surely. Time to move. 
and we've already from the top of the hill. Oh, come on. Is that going to be enough? Yes, yes it is. And look at that beautiful animation. Before we go anywhere, I and there is a lever up there that is now accessible. I am going to pick up this femur. Since I believe that is going to be useful for the dog at some later point in the uh, puzzle. And that gate's still in the way, so we're still not going to be able to get the boat anywhere. But maybe we could actually open that gate if we uh, pull the lever that was hidden by the water previously. Does that make sense? Jump out of that for the moment, please. I didn't know it was going to work then, but that's cool, it did. And so, once again, we would like to push the boat. So, across we go. Mentioned it a few times, but there's so much backtracking in this game. It's not necessarily a bad thing. No, 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 don't lose your femur. We'll be needing that. Push. Push, little ones, push. And pull. Push and pull. We are getting some movement here. This has got to be a good thing. Come on. I've just thought this is probably going to go on that uh, steam balloon. And we're going to have to lift it up, aren't we? Not that that's a problem. I'm just thinking out loud once again on what we're actually going to do to uh, solve this puzzle. We've already got our pipes in place, so let's get things moving. And we'll carry on pushing the boat down. Oh, look at that. That's Hooray! Fun. I'm finally getting off this island. <laughs> I think I've got everything I need. Shove off any time. I knew he was going to be trouble. Right here in Island City. Trouble with a capital T, which rhymes with P, which stands for... He Hermit. Uh, hmm. Yes. Okay, that didn't quite work. But he's still trouble. Trouble with a capital H, which stands for Hermit. Ha! There. Much better. Right, let's see if the... Uh, parrot wants the crackers. We've already got a dog for the bone. We need to go and fetch that. I though. love my dog! No, it just scares it away, apparently. Oh, no. We've got the parrot. Yes, but now we do need to bring the bone up. Oi, where's the parrot gone? Was we supposed to lose it? I don't think we was, was we? Okay, parrots not like water. We'll remember that one. There nice it is. Ball. Come on, parrot. Parrot Pete, let's avoid the water this time since you wasn't a big fan of it before. Oh, bugger off. Got to get the parrot again now. That's really annoying, isn't it? Right, that's what Polly wants do. a cracker! Yeah, you can't walk while it's flying around, you've got to wait for it. Okay, it doesn't fly off when we do our special move, so that's good. I'm taking it to the guy, but to be fair, I don't actually know if it's supposed to or not. Well, we've still got the power, and everything's looking up already. You're really taking your sweet time, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe we need to get the dog and the, uh... What's his face? 
the dog and the palace at the same time in the same sense to the hermit. We'll try it. If not, then I don't know what we'll do with them. So let's hope this works. Of course, the steam power balloon has buggered off. We'll take our doggy bone up to the little fellow up here, wagging his tail. And it makes him bark. But not much else. Let's take the cracker. I mean the parrot. He said he likes his dog, doesn't he? I thought all three of them would want to be reunited. Maybe they do. Maybe we just need to encourage them along a little bit first. Thanks goodbye parrot. But we'll go and get him again, don't worry. I've got a feeling we've almost Only done this. Let's take him up to his doggy friend. Hmm. Ah, interesting. Now the parrot's barking. That is interesting. Now we have a barking parrot, but what is this actually going to accomplish? Let's take him to the hermit and find out, shall we? I forgot my dog! Oh, wait brilliant. here and I'll be back in a flash. Don't leave without us! Spanky gets his own seat, so someone will need to swim. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go while we've got the chance. Yeah, you can book her off, we don't need you now. I'm no lawyer, but maritime law clearly allows for the abandonment of annoying hermits. And really, the stranding of a lone hermit pales in comparison to what we've seen from these three so far. <laughs> I do wonder if any lessons have been learned this evening. Maybe by you and me, but I fear not by them. Well, we shall see soon enough. And that is another puzzle solved. And we've actually got all of the uh, cave paintings for these three characters, so that's interesting. But where are we heading to? Down by the looks of things. Which makes sense since we always end up going down. And there is an employees only door. So I wonder whose episode this will be. Hopefully it will just be another generic one. As is the one we've just done. I guess we'll find out but not until the next episode. So until then I've been Fuzzfinger. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate it up if you have and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.